caps. Do you worry about lens caps? Is that is that still a thing? Are there lens caps? There, there, there are lens, lens covers, caps. but still, okay. all right, we've got Amanda Miller on camera tonight, so thank you, Amanda. Um, and XD. Yeah, we just watched it. It was. I Something give it watched. three plums. What about you, Aaron? <laughs> I will give it four mangoes. We I, didn't uh, discuss the rating system at all. Him. We're just totally making stuff up off the top of our heads. The porcupines enjoyed it. Yeah, porcupines liked it. Uh, yeah. So did we. I would assume that they would give it some sort of pineapple on the tropical fruit scale. They're spiny. I suppose. <laughs> maybe, maybe... This is what happens when we don't have a normal producer. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be bad times. Hey, Greg, this is, this is all on you, man. Yeah, yeah. Um... Ascension versus uh, the Luchadors. The Luchadors, which is Callisto and New Sin Cara. Yeah. Newer Sin Cara? Well, I guess now the only Sin Cara. Yeah, because there was like... Original Sin Cara is now Mysticies. Yes, there, there was original Sin Cara, and then there was like Evil Sin Cara, and then those two Sin Caras feuded for a while. And... Was Evil Sin Cara Hunico as well? I think he You're was. You're going to talk about name changes. Talk about the long show. Yes, no. <laughs> Sorry, we're we're getting advice from uh, I'll shut up, our man. camera person. No, no, no. It's... This is why pencils have erasers. <laughs> wow. No, this is all going in. Um, yeah, no, you said you were going to edit. That's a lie. It's totally a lie. <laughs> I'm just going to kept this and put it up. But uh, it takes long enough to do that on the computer I'm using. I really need to update. Um, so the tag team match. Yeah, the tag team match was. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Agreed. Um, because I, I, there are better luchadors on the show than uh, the luchadors, which is sad but true. Um, the ascension goes back and forth between being really good and then really not being, like just sort of phoning it in. And tonight was sort of like a half and a half. Um, yeah, one, I, I enjoyed them tonight. I thought they were on their game more than. Uh... Like, the last time we reviewed it, they were fighting the New Age Outlaws, right? No, it wasn't the New Age Outlaws, it was uh, uh, Too Cool. Yeah. And well, that, that was a rival, wasn't it? Because last time uh, on, on TakeOver, it was uh, Kalisto and some other... Yeah, but we didn't do a review for that. We didn't. I'm talking to the audience. Ah. It's an audience. Hello. Hi. Oh, God. Be over here. <laughs> um, yeah, so last time it felt like they were... I'm not sure just because they are fighting old guys, but it felt like they were taking it slow. They and really they just, were. There wasn't too much innovative going on. Yeah. This had a lot of interesting spots, a lot of fun stuff happening. A lot of it was the Luchadors doing. Mm -hmm. Their uh, one of the final spots is, you know, Luchador A. Don't remember which one was which, but runs to a suicide dive between the first and second rope, while the other one holds the ropes apart with his feet. It was uh, Kalisto, I think, did the diving, and Hunico did the, sorry, Sinkara did the uh, the opening. <laughs> Called Hunkara from now on. All right, Hunkara. You know I'm totally changing his name in every video game I get from this point forward. <laughs> just get deep into the editor just so you can call him Hunkara. I get deep into the editor anyway. You know how this works with me. Um, this is very true. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of cool spots. The thing is, um, one of the things that makes the Ascension work, in particular with Connor O'Brien, um, and we'll get into this when we talk about the, the Charlotte Bailey match, is repetition. Because Connor does the same things again and again and again, but it's the repetition and the build of the repetition that makes him come across as a monster. And he does that some of the time, and he didn't do it here. And it's one of the things that actually works for him. Like it's it's he's got this weird charisma going where he can make corner stomping into like the most interesting thing you've ever seen, and the crowd goes along with it. Um, yeah. To be fair, I mean, it wasn't a very long match. No. This was probably an 8 to 10 minute match, something like that, yeah. so there wasn't enough, or I mean, there was enough, but I mean, not a ton of room to really get over, you know, a big lariat and then a stomp so he could do it over and over and over again the and thing really is, wear the guy down. Again, he doesn't actually need that amount of time. Like, he's done, he's done three minute matches that are literally nothing but shoulder blocks, where he just murders people, and the crowd it just eats it up. Like, it's, again, he's got this weird charisma thing going for him. I mean, they, they talk about X Factor in a lot of the, the documentaries and stuff, and Connor's got that. I don't know so much about the other guy, but Connor has it. Um, the upshot of the whole thing is that 
they uh, lost their titles to yeah. the Luchadors. Luchadors are the new tag champs, but it's uh, not the last of the Ascension for the mm -hmm. evening. We'll see them again later. Yeah. Um, what was the next match? Well, there was... We're, we're going to stop in between. Oh, we're stopping in between? Yeah. Well, disregard all of that then. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm we're producing it now. We talked about you not rambling on and on about your man crush, Conor McGregor. What? <laughs> Conor O'Brien. Um, is there a Conor McGregor? Was he one of the Highlanders? I, mean, I think he was. No, that's Conor McLeod. That's one of the Highlanders. Oh my god, yeah. I totally... <laughs> I, I, thanks for reminding me about the goddamn Highlanders. Wow. <laughs> Are you going to remind me about uh, Friar Tuck? Or what was the name? Friar Fuck. <laughs> Duke the Dumpster Drozzy? I reminded you of the... Uh, uh, resistance earlier today. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get to them. I mean, Let's... just be glad I didn't bring up Kerwin White. The Christmas on, creature. Cannot... <laughs> I loved the Christmas creature. Uh, but tag match, like final thoughts, yay, nay. Uh, definite yay. I was more impressed by the Ascension than I have been the last couple times I saw them. Mm -hmm. I think them losing is probably the right call. I think they've done everything they can do in NXT and will probably end up on the main roster Sooner rather than later. Yeah, before um, the rumble. Yeah, I'm I'm inclined to agree. I mean, we did get uh, a preview of them on Superstars against Los Matadors, um, and that wasn't a terrible match either. But I'm again, I've got that that worry about them moving up to the main roster because when they move up to the main roster, that means that the main bookers are in charge of them, and the main bookers don't know what the hell they're doing. So I'd much rather see the Ascension continue to just be murderers on NXT than have them job to uh, Big Show Mark Henry with no build and no nobody having any idea who these guys are. Because they deserve better. Tag teams in general get the shaft big time on the main roster. Yeah. Um, which, it's weird. you know, one month the division seems really deep and then yeah. they break everybody up and which it's I a don't three team get. division. Like, it's... it's... <sighs> Tag team, was, tag team wrestling was one of the things that originally got me into wrestling, uh, back during the day of the Islanders and Strike Force. And I like I remember the Can Am connection breaking up, <laughs> and that leading to Strike Force and the feud with like the Islanders and that sort of thing. Giant spider on your floor, yay big! Yeah, just ran under your couch. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and Sorry. move over this way. Wow. So you're gonna move closer to the spider? Oh, I just want to see it. It's quite massive. Consider me terrified. Oh God. It's Little brown. We're, we were stuff. very close to our 10 minute mark. Just okay. Anyway. So we should probably stop talking about the spider and just wrap this up. <laughs> I'll be over here. Um, yeah, no, I really like Connor. I really like the Ascension in general. I think the Luchadors have a lot of potential. I think that they go back and forth between being really sloppy and kind of entertaining. So I'm, I'm curious to see where this goes. Um, I have heard that the Booker from NXT is moving up to the main roster, like they're swapping. So Interesting. if that ends up being the case, I'd be much more interested in seeing the Ascension carry on. But I wonder how much of that booking is the Vince filter. Uh, from what I understand, Triple H and Stephanie are doing a lot of the booking at this point. And I think that's one of the reasons that you see a lot of highs and a lot of lows. What's your implication there? <laughs> I think that's fairly obvious. I don't but, know. Okay. Um, <laughs> H is a very, very old school booker. My my problem with H is that he thinks he's better than he is, and he's he's really good, but he's not nearly as good as he thinks he is. To be fair, he is the B plus player. He calls other people. Yeah, but nobody is as good as Triple H thinks he is. Like, it's, it's not actually possible to be that good without being named Daniel Bryan or CM Punk. Um, but when he's not actively wrestling, he's got a good eye for talent, and he knows how to tell a story within the context of a fight. He knows how to book a wrestling match. And I think Stephanie tends to be a bigger fan of soap opera-esque storylines, and she tends to listen to people that she probably shouldn't. Um... But again, I'm, I'm interested to see how the NXT bookers handle uh, the main roster, the main talent roster, and I, I'd like to see a great deal of more depth. We were talking about the idea of like how Big E was such a big deal on NXT, 
and they just totally destroyed his character. They, he doesn't have a character. No, anymore. he doesn't do anything. Yeah, he's just a he's big just guy. there, and it's it's so sad. We'll cut it there, I suppose. Yeah, probably several minutes before there. The end.